I'm the Garrett Maker. Welcome to my new video series. Since more than 20 years I'm building G-scale brass locomotives, mostly Garrett's. Last year I made this wonderful Kitzmeyer of the Transandine Railways. This year I will manufacture an Australian Class 400 Garrett. Like this unfinished live steam version, but the new project will be in collector's quality with polished brass surfaces and a lot of distinctive and later invisible details. It will be an interesting journey. Let's get started. The cabin of the live steam version is an appropriate template that only has to be adapted a bit. The roof also involves several interesting details that I want to incorporate. That is, an all around going upstand, an additional rain sheet, an inside wooden casing, and sliding ventilators in the roof. Therefore, there is a number of additional screwings that all are done with the relatively small M0.6 screws. The curvature of the roof can easily be achieved using the bending machine. I adapted the originally more massive brass ribs of the live steam model to the profile of the wooden construction. They get soldered and the fitting rods get bolted. The upstands are placed by 2 times 2 mm L profiles. The open sections in the roof get rounding profiles for the sliding ventilators. Now we turn to the polishing. Unfortunately, it now turns out that the riveting is clearly visible. That means for me, back to the start, but this time without brass ribs. The wooden casting should, as for the original, be put onto a latched frame.
I printed the shape of the ribs beforehand. The first idea was to use a 3x3mm wooden ledges to make them soft and bendable in cooking water. However, the test results were not really encouraging. I finally succeeded using very thin ledges that get glued together in layers. The grab handles for the roof ventilators get laid out of brass and polished. For the sliding ventilators I choose a sheet metal out of nickel silver, also called alpaca, in order to achieve a differentiation from the other metal parts. After soldering the grab handles, the sheet metal parts get polished. As described previously, the usual M1 screws, corresponding to the 1 inch screws, in original are obviously too large. However, the latter chosen M0.6 screws fit quite well. 
but also turned out to be a certain challenge. A self-made socket key proved to be a good value for this task. Placing the nuts with a tweezer onto the top of the screw isn't quite easy, but using double-sided adhesive tape makes things much easier. A last time of polishing before a thin layer of saffron varnish is sprayed over.